It has been a picture perfect start so far for AM baseball. The Aggies 8 0 to begin the year with excellent pitching and outstanding hitting. That's pretty good. The ceiling on this team looks ridiculous, but now the Aggies face a little bit of a tougher challenge after going up against the likes of McNeese State and Wagner and Lamar. With all due respect, the Aggies getting ready to turn it up a little bit. They'll be in Arlington for some Pac 12 opponents. AM faces Arizona State Friday and Sunday with USC sandwiched in the middle. We know the quality of the competition is getting better, right? I mean, we're not fools, you know, I've been around a few times. Guys aren't going to hit 480 and hit 30 homers all, you know, all the way through the lineup. We, we know that's going to come back to earth because that's what baseball is. Um, but the game doesn't know what jersey you have on. The game doesn't know your batting average. You have to go play. And so that's why, uh, you know, that's why we play the game is to find out. Aggie softball, meanwhile, keeping up with the baseball club. Two wins today, so now they are 17-1 and one on the season. And the lefty, Emily Kennedy, she was the SEC Pitcher of the Week, had a career-high 12 strikeouts last week, a complete game 12 strikeout shutout against Michigan on Thursday. 16 runs later in the afternoon against Long Beach State. Two bombs from Julia Cottrell, so now the Aggies have five players that have five or more home runs on the roster.